show you my closet. I'm actually excited to show you my closet. <laughs> if you know anything about me and about Lemon Thistle, you will know that we are like DIY. We like to do things ourselves, we like to save a few dollars, but especially in this house, we have found that there is a big difference between DIY and like just don't do it yourself. And here's why. It's not always just to save money, which I mean, I love that aspect of DIYing, but there's some things that you just can't do a great job of, like our kitchen cabinets. We really didn't feel like we could do an amazing job of that. The other reason that sometimes it's great to just like hire it out is because of the stress that it causes. And this space was just a total stress. And we were doing so much ourselves in our kitchen renovation, which is ongoing, that we just didn't have the headspace or the time or the resources like of our energy to do this ourselves. And we really wanted something that worked hard and was awesome and we didn't want to have to think about it. So I am really excited to partner on this video and on this uh, closet makeover with Imagine the Room Kamloops. They came in, they made over this closet, they had their part like done and set up and cleaned in like half a day. It was amazing. In the morning, I had nowhere to put my clothes. In the afternoon, like, beautiful, right? So you'll notice that there's like a ton of stuff on these shelves and in the beauty shots in the intro, there wasn't. When I had done closets in the past and shared them on the blog or on Facebook or whatever, the reaction that I get is always like, well, yeah, of course it looks nice, you have nothing in it. And so what I wanted to do is show you what it was like after we've been using it for a couple weeks. So we have been using this closet for like two weeks now and this is everything that we own. Like we not only put everything that was in this closet back in this closet, um, but we also emptied out our dresser. We have an old an antique dresser and we've emptied it out. We're gonna give that to our daughter and we still have room in this closet. Like there are empty baskets on the shelves. And there is empty shelves up here. And we have like space for fire alarms that we're gonna put up. And space for the pillow covers that I bought. I haven't told Shane about. And that's crazy, right? Like there is so much extra space in here. It's incredible to me. As somebody who has a lot of stuff, I feel like. So yeah, I just wanted to show you what it was like, what, how we actually use it, and show you that there is so much more space when it is efficiently organized, and just say that I'm pretty in awe as to how they made this space work really, really hard. So in this video, I not only wanna show you the transformation, but share a few of the tips that they gave me on designing closets to make them work really hard for yourself. So if you are not in a place right now to hire out a closet makeover like this, or if you don't live in Kamloops and you want to be able to give some very direct requests to whoever's making over yours, this is for you. Other than the shelving in this closet, which of course we did, and patching the million, million holes that there was from the wire shelving that they had in here before, we also replaced the flooring, which we've done throughout the entire house and baseboard. We painted it out of white. It was like a weird cream tan color before, and the ceiling was blue. Why was the ceiling blue? I just don't know. We replaced the light fixture with a beautiful new Globe Electric light. And we also replaced the hardware with Liberty Hardware poles, the exact same ones that we have in our kitchen because we really love them. Oh, and did you notice? There's a door. There's a door to our closet now. And that's really exciting for me as well. Before we get started, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would love if you did that below so you don't miss out on any more DIY or home decor videos. Let's get started. Before I share the tips, I did just want to show the process of how they put this closet together because I was really impressed. They had everything cut ahead of time, exactly how it needed to be, and loaded it in before they started installing anything. Why I loved this is because we've had other things installed in our house and there was cuts made and so there was a lot of sawdust and it is really nice not to have to clean up sawdust in your closet or in your driveway or wherever after a trades leaves. Once they wrought it all in, they marked out rails and they set the rails up. Since it's hanging, everything hung off of this. And why I really like the rail system is because they go right into studs and there was only one spot that he had to use a drywall anchor in the whole closet. For all of the holes that I patched, that made me really happy because I was worried that the drywall patches that I did wouldn't be strong enough to hold whatever we were putting up there. 
after the rails were up, these side pieces for the different panels went up. These are kind of like the framework, they hang right off the rails, and then later on after the cross pieces that are screwed in are in there, then they're secured to the wall at the bottom as well and different points throughout. So all the weight is not just completely on the rails, that's just carrying the bulk of it. So I know that most of you watching this are probably DIYers like I am, and I can't tell you how strange it is to stand there and drink coffee while somebody else does work in your house. But when your brain is so full, it feels so good to know that this is getting done so quickly. I've never had a project in my house move so quickly. So my favorite part of this whole closet is these drawers. I love how the drawers look. I also love that I can put stuff that looks kind of messy in them. And so for the drawers, usually they come with kind of a detailed drawer front. And I really love a classic shaker. And guess what? You can get a classic shaker for closet drawers. So we got classic shakers, and then we also chose to swap out the hardware for the same black hardware that we have in our kitchen. It's by Liberty Hardware, and it's called North Dalston. And I really love it, you guys. From here, it went so quick. He popped in the shelves, and then my very favorite part of this whole process is that he finished it. What I mean by that is they went an extra step and they filed off all the sharp edges that could like catch on your clothes and then they cleaned it too. So I still have a drawer in my kitchen and a cupboard in my kitchen that I haven't had to put anything in so I haven't cleaned it. So it still has the sawdust from when it was installed. It is so nice that I could walk into this closet and just start putting my clothes on the shelves. So that is the magical process of the closet being installed. It was a total dream, you guys. Okay, the tips. So one of the things that they did is that they avoid anything corner. They don't do corner units. Um, I guess it's a poor use of space. And after seeing this and how efficiently this really works, I'm in love. The other thing that they suggested was to put your beautiful thing, whatever that might be, which for us is this drawer unit here with the shaker fronts, um, right in your eyesight. So if you leave the door open, you see something beautiful. Third, they suggest to float everything up off the floor. So it's actually floated a foot off the floor. And I did a poll on my Instagram stories as I was preparing for this about like, shoot, do I need to do my flooring before I get my closet done? And everybody said, yes, you need to do your flooring. But I didn't need to do my flooring because they float it a foot off the ground so you don't have to pull out your whole closet organizer if you want to refloor. Also awesome about this is you don't pay for the material to go all the way down to the ground because the floor is technically a shelf anyways. Why would you pay for the material to go all the way down to the ground? Fourth tip. Notice that there's shelving when you first walk in. That's because having hung things, especially up here if it's a narrower space, which it is, they're gonna like brush against your shoulders and they're gonna be in your eyesight and it's gonna make it seem a lot narrower. Whereas if you keep this down low, see how much further this comes out than the shelving? It makes it feel a lot more spacious in here and you can really see what's happening in your closet and you don't feel like you're walking into like a really claustrophobic closet. It makes it feel a lot more spacious. Last but not least, we did opt to have double hanging here. We can hang like my wedding dress and things like that and some of the other closets in the house. So I wasn't worried about losing that. I do have some dresses that kind of like trail over the edge here. But if you did want to have full height hanging space, the recommendation there was to have as little as possible to make the most use of your closet. Last tip. The other thing that they did mention, especially in the planning process, is one of the biggest ways and the fastest ways they suggest to save money, other than floating your unit off the floor, is to cut out the drawers. And so what they suggest is just using baskets, because baskets are technically, I'm just like this one, say. Like a basket can look as clean and tidy as a drawer, but you already have baskets, and then you're not paying for these drawers. So that is the other uh, tip that they have on saving a little bit of money if you're hiring out a closet makeover. All right, I'm gonna leave it at that. I think that that's all the tips that they gave me. If I've missed one, hopefully they will tell me and I'll be able to add it in somewhere. But I just have to say that this is like my favorite space in the house. It is the only space in our house right now that is not complete chaos. 
thanks to the other improvements that we're doing around the house that we are doing ourselves. This is like a breath of fresh air and it is so nice to be able to walk in and pick out my clothes without tripping over all the stuff on the ground and the floor is done in here too so that feels really good. Gosh, it's definitely my favorite like five square feet of the house right now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more DIY or home decor videos. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much to Imagine the Room for partnering with me on this project. This is totally a dream closet and I'm impressed with you guys.